Welcome back to Fixing Cars with 15th Street Automotive. Uh, today's project is a 2009 Dodge 1500 four-wheel drive. Uh, customer's concern is a growling in the front end when they're driving. Changes when they change uh, when they turn the steering wheel. Uh, so let's get going on this one. Alright, so I just got back from driving this thing and verified that it does growl when you're, uh, when you're driving it. Uh, changes as you change direction on your steering, so uh, suspect a uh, front wheel bearing. Um, we're going to put it up in the air and uh, shake it down the front end and find out if that's the problem. Definitely a bad wheel bearing. Wow. Yep, that's a bad one. Let's fix it. Okay, so I got the wheel off. Got the uh, uh, corner here exposed. This is definitely where our, our looseness and noise was. Uh, I'm going to take off the tie rod end here so I can swing it easier. And then I'll take the brakes uh, system off, caliper and the bracket. Rotor comes off. And then there's bolts back here uh, that is, uh, attach the uh, bearing to the uh, knuckle here. Uh, those will come off and the, take the axle nut off and the bearing will, will come out. So uh, let's get started. Try on this caliper bracket right here just to open this caliper up just a bit. This nut's a little grody, so we're going to lube it up a little bit. Make sure you disconnect the ABS uh, uh, circuit off the uh, 
off the holders here, otherwise uh, you can damage the connector right here. And it doesn't always come out of the hub real easy, so a lot of times if you try to disconnect it here, uh, out of the hub, you'll break it off. So I like to just leave it in there and then uh, replace it on the bench. Three bolts coming in from the back here. Let me uh, grab the camera and show you a view back there. So there you can see the bolt. There's one there, one up there, and then the back over here. There's the other one there. So we'll zing those off and then we can pull that hub out of there. I'm here to tell you, they don't always come off that easy. This is an aluminum knuckle and that's a steel bearing housing. So it corrodes pretty good in here. That one came off pretty easy. Here's your new hub, comes with a new ABS sensor. Uh, if you're going to replace these, make sure you replace them with a quality, uh, quality product. Moog makes a nice one, or also the factory, uh, factory OEM uh, quality is pretty good. But yeah, don't go cheap on these things, you'll be replacing them again. up with the axle splines. Get your 
hole started here. So as you're tightening down these three bolts here, there's barely enough room for the heads of the bolts to make it past the axles back here. Uh, so make sure when you're doing these that uh, you push in the axle, kind of give, give the, uh, the bolt head some space around the axles. Put a little torque on those. Okay, so that's on there. Let's route our ABS sensor. We'll uh, route the rest of that once we get the caliper mounted. Okay. Place your axle nut.
Thank you. What's that? Put an extra clip on this one. I don't know why they did that. Calipers tight, rotors on, brackets are tight, cables run. Now we can put our tie rod back on. I got the wheel back on. I got the uh, uh, lug nuts snugged up. I will drop it down, torque them. Uh, we can't road test it yet because we're doing some other work to the to the vehicle. This one's fixed. We'll see you next time.